Hello everyone. This is Dr. Mayank Shivastu, JR2, Department of Radio Diagnosis from Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College, Aligarh Muslim University. Today I am presenting the role of renal Doppler in diagnosis of co-optation of aorta, a case report. Renal Doppler is indicated in hypertension, especially if there is significant suspicion of renovascular hypertension, suspected vascular pathology like aneurysm, pseudoaneurysm, malformation, or AV fistula, vascular murmur in epigastrium, or to identify the cause of renal failure in patient at risk of renal vascular disease. Herein, we are presenting a child who was diagnosed with coarctation of aorta using renal Doppler during workup for secondary hypertension. Now introduction. Coarctation of aorta accounts for nearly 5 to 8 percent of all congenital heart defects. It is more common in male and male is to female ratio is 2 to 3 is to 1. It can be associated with other congenital anomalies like bicuspid wall which is the most common associ association which is seen in 75 to 80 percent cases. Uh, VHT, TGA, parachute mitral wall, Patent ductus arteriosus, belly aneurysm, spinal scoliosis. There is also syndromic association, for example, Shawn syndrome, face syndrome, Turner syndrome, etc. The diagnosis of coarctation of aorta can be delayed and can be present only when there is serious complications such as congestive heart failure, which is seen usually in infants, or hypertension, which is commonly seen in older children. On clinical examination, it is suspected whenever there is discrepancy between arm and leg uh, systemic blood pressure or hypertension resistant to medical treatment. Because of its high efficacy for detection of secondary hypertension, renal Doppler recently been paid attention to. Herein, we presented a 15 years old male with secondary hypertension who was finally diagnosed to be caused by coarctation of aorta using renal Doppler sonography. Coarctation of aorta can be primarily divided into two types. The infantile, which is also called as preductal form, which is characterized by diffuse hypoplasia or narrowing of the aorta just distal to the brachiocephalic artery proximal to the ductus arteriosus. And the second one is adult type, which is also called as juxtaductal, ductal, post ductal, or middle aortic type, which is characterized by a short segment abrupt stenosis of post ductal aorta. Now, the case history a 15 years old male patient presented with complaint of occipital headache on and off for three months. There is no family history of known risk factor for hypertension. On general examination, patient was found to be hypertensive and BP measured in upper limb was 170 by 100. The systemic examination appears unremarkable, no cardiac murmur or bruise was detected. The lab investigation were within normal limit and patient was adv advised renal Doppler to screen for secondary cause of renal hypertension, that is renal artery stenosis. On renal Doppler, Doppler, the bilateral main renal arteries and intra-renal arteries shows increased acceleration time, spectral broadening, and forward stardust flow. There was reduced monophasic flow in abdominal aorta, bilateral lower limb arteries. However, upper limb arteries shows normal multiphasic flow. On the basis of these findings, proximal flow limiting pathology likely in aorta is suspected and CT angiography was advised. On CT angiography, a focal constrictive narrowing in the descending thoracic aorta is noted, distal to the origin of left subclavian artery with proximal dilatation of ascending thoracic aorta and distal normal appearing descending thoracic aorta. Also noted, multiple dilated perivertebral and mediastinal collaterals anastomoting pre and post stenotic segment. Now the final diagnosis. The patient was diagnosed as a case of coarctation of aorta postductal type and referred to higher center for further man management on patient's request. Now the discussion. Many experts believe that the suspicion of stenosis in aorta raised during Doppler ultrasound is more reliable sign for possible coarctation of aorta than basic physical examination. Considerable differences in flow characteristics is in the descending aorta is a major hallmark in those patients having coarctation of aorta. However, it should be kept in mind that in some patients, normal flow velocities are recorded in spite of existence of clinical sign of coarctation of aorta. And in fact, the findings of normal flow velocity does not exclude the presence of an obstructive lesion. Now the conclusion, the main differential diagnosis for coarctation of aorta is bilateral renal artery stenosis. The main color Doppler findings which favors coarctation of aorta is started as far as flow in bilateral main renal arteries and segmental arteries, sawtooth pattern wave in abdominal aorta and normal flow pattern in upper limb arteries. 
Renal Doppler is a non-invasive, affordable, and cost-effective screening tool in detection of congenital arteries, abnormalities, and general workup for secondary hypertension. So it should be recommended as a part of general workup before proceeding to CT angiography. These are the references. Thank you.